Okay, this is what I got set up this morning. Got my 400,000 volt generator on there. Hooked up to one D cell battery, one and a half volt. And as you can see, these guys are just now starting to sprout blossoms. So we'll see how this goes. And yesterday I went down to Tractor Supply and they had this bug zapper. And as you can see, they say it puts out 4,500 volts. Well, if you divide that by 716 volts, that means I'm going to have roughly about two and a half inches to be able to give it the 700 volts that we need for the egg incubator. And this was the transformer it's inside. I have this all disconnected. I did this a year ago with a, another bug zapper. And eventually, as you can see right there, it burnt out. I wished I would have, could have found one this big because I think I could get a lot more voltage out of that one than I am going to with this one. But I don't need any of this part because that's what makes the light bulb light up. All I'm really interested in this. And then I'm going to hook this rectifier on it. <clears throat> and then I also have the dimmer switch. <clears throat> But at two and a half inches, this thing's going to be running full, full speed. So anyway, I'm going to hook that up today. I just got six eggs from the chicken coop. They've been only giving me one or two eggs a day. And this is the fourth day. I got a half a dozen. So I'm going to get started with uh, that incubator. I'll get that going today. And then I'll post another video later on this afternoon once I get it started. And then, like I said before, we'll wait till about eight or nine days and I'll get the candler out and we'll look at the yolks and see what kind of progress they're making. So hopefully we'll see some uh, activity off my apple tree over there. They just started blossoming today. So we'll see how, the, how that goes and see, see what that test is going to have any kind of results. Okay, so I'll uh, post again in a little while and we'll show you the egg incubator getting started. 